Of course, we have great things in store for today, so go ahead and like the video, subscribe, and share with your friends. Enjoy. Welcome back to Meals Without Meat. Today, I have another meal for you to recreate for your home. I am excited to share it with you. It is a lentil curry dish, and it's super delicious. And so whatever your reason is for tuning in today, Happy New Year, and let's get started. So the ingredients that I'm using today include a handful of spinach, a cup of mixed vegetables, I just used frozen kind, we have mushroom, a cup of lentils, I'll be using two cups of vegetable broth to boil the lentils in. I have a can of tomatoes. You could also use fresh. And I'll be using about a half a cup of garbanzo beans. I have three red potatoes, an onion, garlic, zucchini, serrano peppers. I have three teaspoons of each, yellow curry powder, chili powder, cumin, and paprika. And that's all the ingredients that you'll need today. Alright, I'm going to start by taking the cup of lentils, pouring it into the pan, then add two cups of vegetable stock, I'm going to let that boil. Then once it boils, I'll bring it down to a simmer for 20 minutes. That's cooking. We'll take some water and put it into the saucepan. We're going to saute the vegetables in that. So I'll put it on medium high. It's like a seven. Add the mixed vegetables, the mushrooms, so I went ahead and chopped up the zucchini. I'm going to add that. I'm going to chop up the serrano pepper, the onion, and the garlic. And I'm going to add that to the vegetable mix here as well. So I definitely did not use all of that onion. I used about a fourth of the onion. And I'm adding that to the vegetable mix. As you can see, the lentils are boiling. So now I'm going to stir it and then go ahead and cover, then simmer. Now that all those vegetables are sauteing in the pot with water, minus the spinach, which will be added as a last step, I'm going to go ahead and skin these potatoes, cut them in cubes, and then boil them. So we have some potatoes cut, and we're going to finish up on the last one. So I'm using my potato peeler, which is not the fancy, you just got it from Meyer. Love the potato peeler, so much safer than using a knife to skin the potato. Once you cut the potatoes, you put them in a pan with enough water to cover the potatoes, and they come to a boil. After they come to a boil, put a lid on it and let it simmer for 25 minutes. Not really simmer, but cook on low. So the potatoes are coming to a boil, the lentils are done, and while we're still sauteing the vegetables, you want to go ahead and season them. It's three teaspoons of each, but right now, on the first round where I'm seasoning just the vegetables, I'm going to just use about a third of what I've measured out. You want to stir that so that all the vegetables are flavored nicely. As you can see, the vegetables are sauteing in water and they're well seasoned with the cumin, yellow curry powder, chili powder, and paprika. I'm going to add some more veggies and all the other items shortly. The next phase of cooking this dish, we're going to go ahead and open the garbanzo beans and the tomatoes. And we're going to cook them in their own skillet together. You will want to go ahead and drain the garbanzo beans. One thing that might be helpful for you is to keep the juice from the can and store it 
to use later because it is a nice substitute for an egg in certain dishes. So now I'm taking the can of garbanzo beans that I've been drinking. And I'm going to medium high heat. So I'm going to use the tomato and garbanzo beans for another dish that I'm creating. But for this dish, I would recommend a half a cup of both the garbanzo beans and a half a cup of the tomatoes. That's all you'll need for this dish. Alright, so here we have the chickpeas and the tomato. Now I'm going to go ahead and add the spinach to the vegetable mixture. Spinach has a way of shrinking, so there's really no need to cut it shorter or smaller, but you can if you like. And I'm just going to stir it in. I'm going to add the lentils to the vegetable mixture, slowly. Once all the lentils are in the pan, I am going to go ahead and season the vegetables once again so that we have flavor coated everywhere. So season the vegetable dish with the lentils in it. The potatoes are still boiling, so we're going to go ahead and add the tomatoes and chickpeas to the vegetable mix. At this point you want to make sure you have enough water in the pan so that you can see it bubbling but it's, as you can see it's not covering the mixture. So what we're going to do is bring this down to a simmer. We're going to let it simmer for five minutes while the potatoes are still cooking. Alright so now that the potatoes are done we're going to go ahead and put them in the mixture with everything else. Now that all the potatoes are in the pan, you want to go ahead and mix thoroughly so that they're evenly distributed across the dish. Also go ahead and add all the remaining seasonings. You want to mix thoroughly and then you're actually done. This is the final mixture. You can serve it with rice or eat it as is. Bon appétit. So you were just going to leave my house without subscribing. Really? After I just made you this meal? Really? Go ahead and like the video. Go ahead and subscribe. Share it with your friends. Leave comments. Add me on Instagram at Meatless Maven. Let's stay in touch. Have a great day.